Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about why your next PC might be AI powered. Let's dig straight into it. The world of personal computers is changing again. For decades the story of the PC was about speed, storage and design. We went from bulky desktops to sleek laptops, from megabytes to terabytes, from floppy disks to solid state drives. But now, a new kind of transformation is happening. Not just in how powerful your computer is, but in how intelligent it, it can become. Your next PC might not just be faster, it might be AI powered. And in this video, we dive deep into what that really means. How artificial intelligence is being built right into the heart of your computer. Why big tech companies are betting everything on it and how it will change the way you work, create and even think. The dawn of a new computing era. For over 40 years, computers have been evolving around one idea, processing power. Every generation was me measured in gigahertz, cores and RAM. But in 2025 and beyond, a new kind of race has begun, the race for intelligence. We've entered the era of the AI PC, a personal computer that doesn't just run software, it learns from your behaviour, adapts to your needs and performs tasks almost like a human assistant. Think of it this way, in the 90s we taught computers how to compute, in the 2000s we taught them how to connect and now we're teaching them how to think. This shift isn't just a buzzword, Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, Microsoft and Apple, all of them are redesigning the personal computer from the inside out to, co to include AI dedicated hardware and smarter software. The PC you'll buy next year may have a brain of its own and that's not science fiction anymore. Point 2. How we got here, the rise of everyday AI. Artificial intelligence has been around for decades, but it's only recently that it started touching our daily lives. When you unlock your phone with Face ID, that's AI. When Netflix recommends your next show, that's also AI. When your car assists you in parking, that's AI too. But all of these systems rely on one thing, data processed somewhere else, usually in the cloud. Your devices send information to massive data centers where powerful servers run complex AI models and send results back. That's why you can talk to ChatGPT or generate an image or translate speech in real time. But there's a catch. Cloud computing is powerful but it's not instant. It depends on your internet speed, server load and privacy concerns. And so the tech world asked a new question, what if AI could happen right on your own computer, no cloud, no delay, no privacy risk? That question gave birth to the concept of on-device AI and now shaping the future of every PC you'll use. Point number three, meet the new brains, NPUs and AI chips. To make AI possible on your own computer, it needs a new kind of brain. For decades, computers have used two main types of processors, the CPU, Central Processing Unit, good at general tasks, and the GPU, which is called the Graphics Processing Unit, great for parallel work like video rendering or gaming. But AI requires something different. It needs a processor that can handle billions of small calculations at once while staying energy efficient. That's where the NPU or Neural Processing Unit comes in. An NPU is a specialized AI chip that's designed to accelerate machine learning tasks. Things like image, image recognition, speech enhancement and large language model inference. Intel calls it the AI Boost. AMD calls it the Ryzen, Ryzen AI Engine. Apple's version is a Neural Engine inside every M-series chip and Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite platform has one of the fastest MPUs in any consumer laptop today. These chips can perform up to 45 trillion operations per second and they do it quietly, efficiently and locally. What used to require the cloud can now happen in your hand. Number 4. What AI PCs can actually do. So what does an AI PC really do? differently from your regular laptop. Let's break it down. Smart performance optimization. The computer learns how you use it. It can predict which apps you'll open, allocate resources automatically. 
and even manage battery life intelligently. Real-time language and image processing. AI PCs can translate video calls live, remove background noise perfectly and upscale video in real life, all without using the cloud. Creative tools on steroids. Imagine generating music, art or even full presentations instantly. Apps like Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, Premiere and Microsoft Copilot are already integrating local AI features powered directly by your hardware. Privacy first AI. Because data doesn't have to leave your device, it's more secure. Your voice recordings, images and personal prompts can be processed locally, not sent to the server somewhere else. Accessibility and assistance. Your computer will be able to listen, summarise and guide you, turning complex workflows into simple commands. Soon you might just talk to your PC and say, summarise my meeting notes and make a PowerPoint, and it will quietly hand handle the rest in seconds. Number 5. Microsoft's Push Copilot PCs One of the biggest moves in this new era came from Microsoft. In 2024, they introduced a new category called Copilot and PCs. These are Windows laptops and desktops specifically built for AI performance. They come with an MPU as a requirement and include built-in AI features across the operating system. There's a new record feature that can remember everything you've done on your computer, searchable like a timeline of your digital memory. There's a Windows Studio effects that can make you look more focused, improve lighting and even maintain eye contact during video calls all handled by AI hardware. And the Microsoft 365 suite, Word, Excel, PowerPoint is being re-engineered with AI assistants that generate, summarize and design content, or content automatically. Microsoft's vision is simple. They don't want AI to be an app you open, they want it to be part of the operating system itself. Number six, Apple's choir revolution. Apple took a different route but one of that uh, that's arguably more seamless. Since 20, 2017, every iPhone and MacBook chip has included a neural engine, a dedicated part of the silicon that handles AI tasks. This is what enables features like live text in photos, on-device Siri recognition, and even advanced photo editing in real time. The beauty of Apple's approach is integration. AI doesn't feel like a separate product, it's just invisible. You don't need to turn it on, it's simply there, enhancing performance, predicting behaviour and optimising battery life. As Apple moves into the world of genera generative AI, except upcoming M-series Ma uh, Macs to use this neural engine, engine to run models locally. Imagine running something like ChatGPT or Midjourney directly on your Mac without the internet. That's where Apple is heading AI that p that's personal, private and powerful. Number 7. The battle, of, the battle of AI Hardware Right now, the competition in AI comp computing is fierce. Intel's upcoming Lunar Lake processors are prom promising double the AI performance of current chips. AMD's Ryzen AI 300 series is doubling down on power, power efficiency and Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite is already setting benchmarks for AI acceleration in laptops. Even Nvidia, best known for gaming GPUs, is entering the AI race by optimizing the graphics processors for machine learning work workloads. It's not just a performance war, it's a new ecosystem forming. Because once AI becomes a core part of your computer, Every app, every workflow, and every developer has to adapt. Soon, the question will be, does your PC have AI? It'll be, how good is your AI hardware? Number 8. The software revolution. Hardware is only half the story. Software is where AI becomes visible and useful. Big companies are rebuilding their apps to take advantage of an on-device AI acceleration. Adobe Firefly and Photoshop. Generative fill and smart editing will soon run part, partly offline. Microsoft Copilot, embedded across Windows, Office and even Outlook, Autodesk, DaVinci Resolve, Canva and Figma, all experimenting with local AI rendering and design suggestions. We're moving toward a world where your PC becomes a creative collaborator. 
Instead of you telling software what to do step by step, you simply describe your goal and the system will figure out the process. Number 9. Why it matters. So, why does this shift matter so much? Because for the first time in history, intelligence is becoming a built-in feature of personal computers. It's not just faster chips, it's about smarter experiences. Imagine editing a 4K video while an AI automatically adjusts lighting and transitions, or coding while an assistant predicts and completes your lo logic flawlessly, or teaching your PC your writing style so it drafts emails exactly like you would. This is not just convenience, it's augmentation. It's human ability multiplied by machine intelligence. Number 10. The privacy advantage. We've heard it a thousand times. AI raises questions about privacy, data, data safety and surveillance. That's why local AI computing might be the perfect middle ground. By running models directly on your computer, your data never leaves your device. No uploading conversations, no sending photos to a cloud. It's all processed securely offline. This means you get the power of AI without sacrificing your privacy in a world where data breaches are daily news. That's a game changer. Number 11. What it means for you. Let's make it simple. What does all this mean for you, the everyday user? It means your next computer will be more personal, more private, more intelligent and infinitely more capable. That's it for today guys. Thank you for staying till the end with me. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.